George Junius Steiny Jr. was the youngest person to be sentenced to death in the United States. George was an African-American child who was convicted and apparently murdering two white girls, Betty and Mary Emma, ages 7 and 11 years old. Steiny is the youngest American to be sentenced to death. 70 years after he was executed, court ruled that he had not received a fair trial. George Steiny lived in Alcolu, South Carolina with his father, George Steiny, mother, Amy, brothers, John and Charles, 17 and 12 years old, and sisters, Catherine, 10 and 7 years old, Amy. Steiny's father worked at the town mill and the family resided in company housing. Alkulu was a small working class mill town where white and black neighborhoods were separated by railroad trucks. The town was given segregated schools and churches for white and black residents. There was limited interaction between them. The bodies of Betty June and Mary Emma Thames were found in a ditch on March 23, 1944, after failing to return home the night before. Tiny's father helped in the search, and the girls had been beaten with a weapon variously reported as a piece of blunt metal or a railroad spike. The girls were last seen riding their bicycles looking for flowers. According to Amy, she was with Steiny at the time the police later established for the murders. Both girls had suffered blunt force trauma to the face and head. Some reports differed as to what kind of weapon had been used. And according to a report by the medical examiner, these wounds had been inflicted by a blunt instrument with a round head about the size of a hammer. Both girls' skulls were punctured. The medical examiner reported no evidence of sexual assault, but the genitalia of the older girl was slightly bruised. Steiny and his older brother, Johnny, were arrested of murdering the girls. Johnny was released by police, but Steiny was held. He was not allowed to see his parents until after his trial and conviction. According to arresting officer, Steiny made a confession, but no confession stated signed by Steiny is known to exist. The 14-year-old later claimed that the arresting officer starved him and then bribed him with food to confess. Steiny reported as a bully and gotten into fights at school. Following Steiny's arrest, his father was fired from his job. His parents did not see him again before the trial, and he had no support during his 81-day confinement. He was detained in Colombia. Steiny was questioned alone without his parents or an attorney. The entire proceeding against Steiny, including jury selection, took one day. The trial presentation lasted two and a half hours, and Steiny's counsel did not call any witnesses, did not cross-examine witnesses, and offered little or no defense. More than 1,000 whites crowded the courtroom, but no black people were allowed. After deliberating for less than 10 minutes, the jury found Steiny guilty of both murders. Steiny sentenced to death by electrocution, and there is no transcript of the trial and no appeal was filed by Steiny's counsel. Standing 5 feet and 1 inch tall and weighing just over 90 pounds, Steiny was executed on June 16, 1944 at 7.30 p.m. He was prepared for execution by electric chair using a Bible as a booster seat because Steiny was too small for the chair. He was then restrained by his arms, legs, and body to the chair. The executioner placed the face mask over his face, which did not fit him. When the little electricity was applied, the mask covering slipped off, revealing tears streaming down Steiny's face.